Davis with five on the shot clock. Better hurry. There's the shooter, Brown, from Traveler's Rest. Numbers. Mascara Perea gets free and an easy layup. That's all we've got so far. And Davis, explosive shot to Evan Glass. Three on two. Bradford. Oh, what an alley-oop and a finish by DeSante Bradford. Kevin Glass. Three on two. Bradford. Oh, what an alley-oop and a finish by DeSante Bradford. ETSU down by a point. Mascara Perea, 18-foot jumper is true. A nice give and go. It was Bradford to Mascara Perea. Back to Bradford. Nice design set. Rebounding the Bucs six to four. And as you mentioned, Jay, four on the offensive end. Oh, John Davis from way outside. Time of possession early. Bucks stayed on the defensive end one minute on the prior set. Merriweather back in, guarding Fowler. Tough shot by Daniel Fowler. Elevates up and he got a friendly roll. About 10 minutes, halfway through the first half, and Daniel Fowler, a curl cut and a slam, and Steve Forbes wants a timeout. Not a little indecision. Cromer, nice move to the hoop, and that'll break the drought. Almost five-minute drought is broken. And John Davis, after a pump fake, pulls the trigger with eight on the shot clock. Land leaves it for Burrell all the way to the hoop. He's fouled, and the bucket will count. Second foul on Jalen Williams. Ball movement does not result in a layup. And then Lyon, then Williams gets an offensive rebound and the bucket. Court. Paladin's up seven long, trying to get right to the rim. Nice job by Mascara Perea to kind of clear an alley for him. Nice basket. Lions a deep three, and he's going to book one. High five, 110 to go. Burrell loves the corner three, and he knocks it down. Boy, David Burrell's ignited the building. Sibley to beat the shot clock, and he does for a three. Nice inside out the glass. They definitely have an advantage there, and the layup's good. Brown's going to have a hard time. Pass to Acox with two, with one, and he doesn't get it off the steal. Cromer and the Bucks for the lead. Layup good. Their season championship. Almost two minutes, 30 second drought is now no more. The rest. Tevin Glass caught it, lays it up, collects it. Jeff Beans a tough, what a block shot by Jeff Beans. Outstanding block. It was off a really nice pass from Cromer too. And Sibley hits a three in the corner. Boy, that's a big five-point turnaround. The lead from six to three a second ago. Now Cromer, tough fall away jumper's good. He's got 18. At the rim with nobody in between. Cromer a dribble, shot for three, and he, there's no way to stop him right now. Sibley against Long with 10 minutes to go in a game. Oh, boy. And then now we're playing the feud for a second. And a technical foul on Sibley and on Ike Banks. And T.J. Cromer's being talked to right now. And a technical foul on T.J. Cromer for continuing to talk when he told him not to. Up four. Cromer is already mad all the way to the hoop. He's got 23. Hiding that could have something to do with the, what oh, a steal by Acox. All the way to the hoop, right hand layup. He missed it, but followed by Lyons. Bucks didn't get back. Ball to Ike Banks down low in space against Acox. Acox, good job defending without fouling. Been in a lot of tight games. They've won a lot of them this year. You can tell by the 13 and three mark. There's a three by Sibley Bradford, who drives, kicks Merriweather. Bucks need it and got it. His first points on senior day. Ball. Bradford, the lob. David Burrell ducks it home for the lead. What a design play, and ball. Bradford, the lob, David Burrell ducks it home for the lead. What a design play, and ball. Bradford, the lob, David Burrell ducks it home for the lead. What a design play, and Defense for offense substitution. And a steal by Cromer, and he got fouled in the backcourt by Acox. Sibley, un a three to send it to overtime with three seconds left. Davis, deep three, man in his face. He got it with 1.3. TJ Cromer, a three-quarter heave for the game, won't go. Playing shot no good, rebound. Acox puts it back up and in. Attacks the glass with three fouls. Cromer got some space and hit a three. New career high, 32 points. Dribbling. Merriweather a catch and a shot and a six-point lead. And Furman will just bounce it out. ETSU will pick up the win in overtime, 93-81. They stand alone atop the Southern Conference standings with two games to go. Furman could still have something to say about it. They beat Wofford. ETSU still got to go to Western Carolina, and they've got to go to UNCG. ETSU victorious on senior day over the Furman Paladins overtime, 93-81. Jay Santos alongside head coach Steve Forbes. And coach, let's start. 
John Davis hits a three to get it to overtime, but ETSU jumps out to a quick nine-point lead and hang on. Well, you know, we went four for four in overtime. We didn't miss a shot and uh, shot 60% for the game. And so, uh, we, you know, we just shot the ball really well. Uh, you know, we faced that before. You know, Christian Cunningham made a three against at Sanford against us to put it in overtime, kind of like that. You know, uh, we've gone we've we've gone back and forth all year how to guard that, and you know we went uh, one three one, and uh, we got great length. And you could see he stalled coming up, but then we didn't get quite enough pressure on him, Jay, to to contest. And he made a tough shot, but I like to seeing some more bodies up closer to him. But uh, he made a great shot, but we didn't wilt. We came into the timeout or, you know, in between periods, and we were very confident. Came out, took the lead, and, and got the win. You know, on senior day, a couple guys had huge games. T.J. Chroma, Corral, oh. 32. Tevin Glass, 17 on the second half. Merriweather only had eight, but every time he needed a Big shot, shot, he hit a couple he hit threes. two huge threes. And then uh, T.J. saved the best for last, you know, for home. And he was crying coming off the court. I mean, he just laid his uh, played his guts out. And uh, not just from three, from two. He also had five assists, you know. So he played a great all-around game. Uh, DeSante played really well. Tevin, like you said, in the second half. You know, we felt like we had um, a matchup advantage at the four going into the game. And Tevin had 17 and DB had 12. So we had 29 points out of the four. And uh, those guys played really well. And everybody played well. You know, Hunter, I mean, he defends so hard. I mean, he just makes so much happen around the basket. And, you know, I just I love him to death. I, I told him when he came out of the game, you know, I was, I was happy that he trusted to come play for me. Because he didn't have to, he could have went a lot of places, and he trusted me, and I, and I appreciate that. And it was great to get all the seniors out, you know, one last time. And and uh, you know, I, I I wish I could have got Peter in, it just wasn't able to, and Ike didn't get to play a lot. But he's been so important this year in our in our team. It, 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 this isn't the end of the road. Three times a season, ETSU's had a sellout. This is the third yeah, one, fitting wow. on senior night. Crowd certainly got their money's worth <laughs> to see you overtake Furman to stand alone in first place. Yeah. Well, I can't say enough about our people here. It, you know, our, our fans are the best in the league, and they've proven it time and time again. And, you know, our, like you said, three sellouts, two of those are league games. Um, senior night, it doesn't really get any better. It was a great – it was a really a great game. And I would have said – like I said when we lost to Greensboro, I said, hey, this is a really well-played game, you know. We shot 60%. They shot 50%. And, you know, it wasn't like we weren't guarding each other. We were guarding each other. It was just a, a, a high-level game of really good players. They're really good, man. Nico Medved does an unbelievable job, you know, with his team. They're tough. I thought they out-toughed us in the first half. I did. I, and I was got I got on our guys at halftime about, you know, they're, you don't want it bad enough because they want it. They're playing a lot tougher than you are right now. But we came out and rectified that in the second half. I thought, again, another key stat at home was points off turnovers, 26 yeah. points to that 13. Right. You know, we had nine steals again, and um, we only had 11 turnovers, 19 assists. That's awesome. We turned them over 16 times. and uh, But, you know, a lot of that, I think, was probably as the game creeped along, too. We didn't get a lot of that early. You know, maybe we were a little tense. I don't know. You know, it's a big night, and a lot of people here. And everybody, all my guys had a lot of family here. And so uh, – I don't know, man. I, I I didn't have a lot of words after the game, and it, and it was an interesting uh, uh, locker room. You know, you would think they were jumping around. And they were just sitting in their chairs ready to go because they know we still got two games left. You know, we got to go to Western Carolina on Saturday, and we got to go to Greensboro on uh, on on Monday. Monday. And we and we did we you know we control our own destiny. That's all you can ask for. ETSU victorious today over the Furman Paladins, 93 to 81.